All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol TSLA, Tesla Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So, Tesla has been in a nice bullish run after hitting those lows of around 350, right? Way down here previously. And it had jumped up and down. And it reached recently lows of about 406 or in that range. And since that point forward, there has been a bullish run. Now, Tesla has actually now fallen into bearish territory. After all of this effort and through the ups and downs and this slight bullish run that lasted for a couple of days here, almost about a week, they have ended that bullish run. And now the bears have appeared and this is starting to slightly fall. Now, the question is, how much lower could it go? Could the bulls reappear and bring this back up? Again, as I've always stated in all my videos, 538 is one of the most important numbers and way down here at 308 is one of the most important numbers. If this crosses 308, it will hit newer lows. If it crosses 538, it could hit newer highs. But when you look at it zoomed out, this has been in a recovery and sideways movement for some time. And it's just created this channel that it's just going sideways. And the tug of war is always more focused around the 50 day moving average and how it's acting and the ups and downs of how the volatility of the market is. Now, recently it hit highs here of about 465 and some change. That's an important number for this to continue to break through newer highs. But that's nothing to worry about right now, but you can write that down to keep that in mind if you missed it in the previous video. Today, the bulls actually broke through the resistance. They also broke through the 50 day moving average, but it only lasted for about two hours within this time frame here. Quickly after it fell and then it recovered, right? The bulls went ahead and broke through resistance in 30 minute time frame one time in the day after that. And then since then, it's been in a downward direction and hitting newer lows. I mean, these are the newest lows that the stock has reached recently, and it's about to hit that recent low of 436 and some change all the way over here to be exact at 436.76. So it's working its way down towards that. If it breaks through that, this will see newer lows, and that's the lowest point in this leveling off before this bullish run to continue. So. That's something to keep very um, close in mind, right? Pay very close attention to and beware of that. Beware of that. Write that number down if you want to have that as a point of reference as well. Now, I'm going to move this support level and resistance levels to its new location. But something interesting is that the resistance level from yesterday, which was 450.89, has slightly moved a little bit lower and we're about to move it. But it's right here on this candlestick due to the fact that this is the highest point before this hard fall. And we're going to move our support to the lowest point within these last couple of hours. But interesting enough, resistance was able to be broken through. It was not able to be used as support. But resistance was a location which today's resistance from yesterday to today was actually a resistance that was a rejection point several times in the day. And now showing that. It's about to be tomorrow's resistance level again, but off by a couple of cents because it moved down a little bit. But interesting enough that this resistance here is actually going to be super important for this stock even as yesterday to today because it, it barely moved. It, it moved only by like a cent. And um, one of the most important things here is that the bulls need to break through this. They need to break through that resistance level, but pull away from it, not just break through it as they did. And they started to work their way up. This was a good sign here when they broke through it and it was able to be used as support, but it quickly fell again. The bears just reappeared and stopped that momentum. This momentum needed to continue to allow the bulls to get into bullish territory and hit newer highs. And obviously then work on hitting this resistance level up here at 456 and some change and they weren't able to accomplish that so let's go ahead and see what is important for monday so as of right now the 50-day moving average is slightly above our resistance 
and it's 451.88. Let's see if I can land exactly on that number. Gives me a hard time sometimes unless I zoom in and, and it's not letting me zoom in much more, but 451.88. That is our 50 day moving average. That needs to be crossed by the bulls to get back into bullish territory and start to work their way up to newer highs. So that's very important to keep in mind and pay close attention to on how this reacts. But before the bulls can break through the 50 day moving average, they need to cross this resistance level. This resistance level is 450.89. They need to turn that into a support, break away from it. And the good news is that the 50 day moving average and our resistance level is sli slightly close. I, I mean, it's just right there close to each other and this will start to hit newer highs and newer resistance levels if it can cross it right and break through this resistance level turn it into a support and just break away which is literally a whole dollar away from it in an upward direction to break through the 50-day moving average and get back into bullish territory after that accomplishment is done by the bulls then the next resistance level would be up here at 454.93 but before getting there the bulls need to break through 450.89 now on the other hand we have what the bears want and right now this is currently at 439.81 and if the bears accomplish breaking through this i want to emphasize to all investors that you have to pay close attention to how this stock is reacting what is going on put your one minute your five minute your 15 minute charts so that you're aware of what is going on with the chart who is dominating it and also what is the inflow and outflow to make sure if the bears are taking over or are the bulls trying to recover this support level here is the lowest point of the day and the lowest point after this bullish run so it's very important and that is 437.82 if that gets broken through the bears are going to do everything in their will to continue to tear this one down pull it further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction so I want to emphasize that to all investors pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting at 437.82 is it breaking away from it fairly quickly in a downward direction or is it hanging out sideways and waiting for the bulls to actually reappear and bring this one back up those are the cues to be paying close attention to and look for as this trading day goes on on monday i hope that you guys found this video helpful and informative if you guys do please do so and subscribe if you feel inclined to. And don't forget to click on the bell. By clicking on the bell, you turn on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. Don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video. And at the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. In that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points within these last couple of months due to the fact of the Federal Reserve pumping the market. I'm going to do an updated video. It's coming soon. They've already released it. As soon as I have the time, I'm going to do the updated video. But for those of you that haven't seen it, I highly encourage you to click on the video, check it out, see for yourselves to get an idea of what it is that I talk about. I go into more detail about it. But just to summarize it, the S&P 500 is rising up on specific dates due to the Federal Reserve pumps. That means for us as investors, there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it. That's good news for us because there's an opportunity to make profits. I'm not guaranteeing you guys profits. I'm not telling you guys to buy, sell, or hold. I'm just here to enlighten everyone, every single investor and viewer on the great news that there's an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize the losses. You have to do your due diligence and your research, but check out the video. I go into more detail about it and these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to three dollars i know it doesn't sound like a lot per share but that does add up and like i always say profits are profits we're all here to try to gain a profit and put in a dollar and get back more than the dollar that we put into the market so when you put a dollar into the market and you got back two dollars you've done a great job profits are profits check out the video don't miss out on it i don't want you guys to overlook it and it should be popping up soon if it hasn't popped up already it should be popping up soon Click on it and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.